No sim from me. Oh, you can't hear this. Popping sound in there, like no popping. Oh, nice. Now I forgot where I was. Where's my bar? Do -do. And stop it right before the commercials. <laughs> I, I stole that backing track. Is it quiet? Yeah. Yay! No popping there. Since decades, were you one of them poppers? <laughs> Can I move the mic in frame, but still close to me? How's that? Hello, inmates. I'm going to stick with that. I like it. Inmates. <laughs> oh, that's what's wrong with there. Uh... Ha! Huh? It moved. How did that sound? Was that okay? So I'm sweating already and I've got some, it looks like delay, but it's not quite there. Oh, thanks. Because I'll show you in a second what I did. <laughs> I did something cool. So what you're saying is that I should shut up and play more? I'm not sure if my fingers will agree as well. Let's say I'm having some fun with the guitar today because my fingers were working. But yeah. Um... I think I got it working. I did something really cool. Wait, can I show you guys what I did? Uh, does that work? Does that work? I did something cool. I did something cool. I'll stop singing. Uh, where's the camera thingy? I had a camera thingy. 
Sounds fabulous, doesn't it? A camera thingy. Can I turn that on? Yeah, let's turn that on and that on. Did something die? Because the chat just stopped dead in its tracks when I stopped playing guitar. Delay is not bad. Mm, let me see. Display capture. No. Oh, is it gone? Oh, let me put it back in. Oh, it has to be here. Whoop. There it is. Oh, it's still starting up the program. Wow, it, it went really silent right now. Someone tried to get in. Shh. Hello? You in there? Yay! We're here! Woohoo! <laughs> um, yeah! I'm glad that you guys are still here. Thank God for you guys. Because I had no one watching me. <laughs> um, I did write, if, if, did someone see the end of my um, all night stream? Well, sort of all night stream because I stopped it too uh actually i did uh i played some guitar then it wasn't that good but it feels a lot better now i think i i am um, i uh kind of um uh, blew a lot of it before the stream started because i had an hour left and i just started noodling and it felt really good i liked it why isn't that program starting what's going on hello Maybe if I press it on the other screen. Um, what do you guys think of the backdrop? I made some changes. Oh, wow. Here we go, finally. That took ages. Whoop. Where's my mouse? There it is. Yeah, there we go. Can we make that smaller? Whoop. I'm just doing some weird shit. <laughs> I'm that good. I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> they're not. They're used to a lot better than this. <laughs> they found. A new, oh my god! It's Windows. They found a new software update. I don't care. Oh my god. Is there a way to just destroy windows for fun? You know? Uh, yeah, there we go. I can just close this. Go away. Yeah, because last time we said, well, you need an uh, extra sound card. Remember that? When we said that? No, oh, it's a bit slow. Bit slow, here we go. Yeah, uh, but I did this. This is actually a um audio interface uh, that came with my microphone. Wow, that's really slow. But what I did um is I um basically used the interface um uh, to plug in my amp in stereo and it went to that interface in stereo and for some reason um, I got in an argument with OBS that said well you can put it in either in stereo but screw you I'm gonna put it in mono but at least it makes sounds and um, the popping isn't on your end so it's probably just on my end um but yeah i can play guitar and i can do a video 
and I can use my microphone and I can keep all the settings I did. Um, yay! Can everybody say yay for me, please? Because I'm, 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 yeah. <laughs> What, no yes? Uh, let me see, let me put that up there because we're going to need that later. Um, cause yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got yes. <laughs> the yes have it. Um, yeah, uh, as you guys know, I. I applied for the um, ultimate guitar build off and um, I got an email back. Um, actually, I got an email back from Ben Crow, believe it or not, which was really cool because um, I first read the email and it said, well, it's uh, kind regards Talitha on the end. What I didn't know is that uh, I didn't read it. I was a bit fast reading it. So um, it said on the top, um, uh, I'll just uh, insert um, um, uh, the, the standard email reply for this. Um, so they actually saw my email later on and then checked it out. And then um, the email that I got sent back was actually from Benjamin Crow at uh, Crimson Guitars, so that was actually pretty cool. So, um, yeah, I um, sent in all the social media I've got, which is basically just YouTube, um, because uh, the Facebook page is for Cool Arrow, and um, I've decided to split Cool Arrow and Dark's Dungeon into two pieces. Um, there's going to be a Cool Arrow workshop, uh, it's going to be the workshop where Dirk's Dungeon does his work, but it's going to be two separate things. But yeah, so uh, we got in, yay! And I did something mildly silly. Um, uh, like I said in the video, uh, um, I wasn't expecting this, so my workshop is just one big pile of trash. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're gonna change that. And I'm gonna have to fix that shit to get it all uh, working, uh, get some space to do some work. Uh, I think I'm gonna uh, take one of the workbenches off the wall and put it in the center so I can walk around it. And I'm uh, thinking about uh, getting stands for the ceiling so I can uh, place my uh, recording equipment on the ceiling and in front of me so that if uh, if I'm filming uh, it's not in my way but it's still accessible I can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm filming um, maybe I should do um, uh, a tour and maybe I should do, uh, uh, I should record the video of me cleaning that shit out and doing a, a time lapse on that. Maybe that would be cool. Why is the focus set on north? What the hell? I'm not coming into focus. I've never been very focused. But... focusing on me or on the background uh, still something that I really don't get oh wait there it was 60 no oh, 52 almost that looks yeah there we are that looks reasonably sharp whoop, whoop. apply um yeah, fun things, fun things, fun things, fun things. Um, because uh, uh, did anyone read the rant uh, <laughs> Lamb and I had in the uh, in the Discord about the expensive Fender guitars? Um, because um, the um, what was it, Pale Moon Ebony or something like that? Um, 
I looked it up and it's basically the wood that's uh certain in vid is not in please don't fix it yet yeah it's been a fun day of ranting uh, <laughs> but um uh basically uh i looked it up and it was actually cheaper to buy than normal ebony because they discarded as trash so that's kind of funny uh i didn't know that um there were a few sites that said it so i'm, I'm not really sure maybe i'm talking nonsense here maybe someone knows but uh, it's kind of funny to see that all these guitar brands using different types of wood and um maybe i should restart because there's a delay on my end as well yeah <laughs> it's undesirable because the grain is ugly as hell yeah well um not only is the grain ugly uh because i do like the streaks in it um but the parts that they used i mean they had a piece that was uh, well this big and there's just one spot in the middle. I mean, it has to be scrap wood. I mean, it's, there's no way in hell that that's um, on purpose. You can't tell me that. that no. Nah. Is the delay getting worse, by the way? Because on my end, it feels like it's getting worse. Maybe I should kill this. Maybe that helps. Because it was going out of sync, and then I went back in sync. And now my computer's doing all sorts of weird stuff. Okay, here we go. So that closer together. I could reactivate my webcam for a second and see if that works. It takes a few seconds to kick in. Don't touch anything, the show must go on. Well, I can't because it's dying on me. Everything is dying. Okay, maybe I can't play guitar and... Oh, am I back? Yeah, I'm back. Um, can't play guitar and uh, do a video on this at the same time because I think it's my... Uh, let me turn off the amplifier. Maybe if it doesn't get any sound in, then I'm... Looks good. Show must go on. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was I doing? Ranting. I was ranting. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, it's just it's just silly, isn't it? Because it's just plain stupid. Because I looked at the uh, the specs on that, and then I looked at the Texas made uh, Fender uh, Strat, and then I looked at the Japanese made Strat, and there's a difference of uh, it, well, at least in euros, there's a difference of at least six hundred euros in there. Um, if you take it to the top level, but the fun part is that um, the pickups on the Pell Moon were exactly the same as the Japanese one, and the Japanese one uh, was nine hundred euros cheaper, almost a thousand euros cheaper uh, than the custom shop one. And I'm like, okay, well, what if I start making guitars out of trash and resell them and if someone of you uh, of you guys would do a review on this and say, well, I like it. It looks good. I could make millions. <laughs> Stupidest thing ever. <laughs> it ends with dying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I still get the idea that the chat is really slow compared to the... Uh, video so the sound is a bit slower than the rest oh well it's oh this is almost in sync 
But the chat is going really slow, a lot slower than normal. I don't know what's really going on here. Oh well. Must be something that's going right. Oh, maybe it's the... Ah, that's what it was. It forgot all the settings again. Oh, I need to write this down because um, apparently it forgot all its filters and stuff. I put some filters on this. And I made this work a lot better than it did because um, I changed the exposure and I added some filters and I made it look good. And then when you restart your OBS, for some reason, it just, yeah, I mean, it's all back to what it was. So I don't want to delay, go away. Yeah, that's right. Back, yeah. Yeah, they were gorgeous. And $900, I mean, come on. <laughs> Why would I buy... Uh, like the the Eric Clapton one. How much was that? Thirty two hundred, or was it even more expensive? It's got fifties wound pickups, which the Amer the Mexican Strat does too. Um, you can actually order a standard custom shop for two thousand. I mean, why would I buy that one? Yeah, maybe it's healing itself. And I took out a filter. Maybe that helps. Um, I still don't know what happened to the color correction and stuff like that. Because it's the low light com compensation that kills me. This makes it a lot faster. But it's taking a lot of light away. Hey Google. Dim grote lamp naar 40%. How's that? Gives me a bit more light. Or is this better? Because... I don't know. I give up. I'm done with it. Hey Google. Hey Google. Dim the grote lamp naar 20%. There we go. That's a lot better. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the sync stuff again. <laughs> I fixed all that. I had such a great layout and I had such a great setup last week. And some of it is still there. And some of it completely went to shite. Yeah, well, I wish I had £12,000. Oh, £1,200. <laughs> I had to scrape money together to get some templates. <laughs> I'm poor, have pity. <laughs> um, but what I did do is... Yeah, do you want, guys want to see the templates faster than the wood? I'm going to give you guys a sneak preview here. <laughs> well, you could have just spent nothing on something like this. I mean, yeah, you have to solder it back together when you get it, but... You have to say this thing is perfect for Esmer. <laughs> and actually, it, it works really well. I like it. It's uh, It looks good. It's funny. I had people commenting me on the really, really over-the-top Tom Jones microphone. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. But do you guys want to see the wood or the templates? Because that was my question.
can I see how many people are watching. Oh wow, that's pretty close now. Don't know what's going on in the background, something's fucking up something somewhere, but apparently it's catching up. I'll just go ahead and show you the templates and we'll go from there. What is the chat working anyway? I don't get it. <laughs> More Shirley Bassey. <laughs> when did you use Shirley Bassey? <laughs> like this, like gold finger. It's it's a bit big for a finger. I always like Moonraker better. Well, that was a great song. I, I, I do like Shirley Bassey though, it's a, it's an incredible voice, one of the greatest female voices ever. Yeah, my dad always said, uh, go big or go home. I went big. Let's see, there's one. I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> she takes the whole fist. <laughs> um, I went really big. And I'm not sure the camera is picking this up. But. Can we change that? Uh, let's do the low light compensation off. Let's see what that does. That doesn't do anything. But yeah, I've got templates. And that's a telly. As you can hopefully see. Let me see. Yeah, we can see it like this. It's a pretty white paper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm working on it, Gunther. I'm working on it. Damn it. Why is it? Yeah, you can barely see it. No. Oh. I'll get closer then, does that work? Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me, let me tweak the exposure a bit. Let's just put it, uh, let's put it on automatic. Let's go for the second round. There we go. So there's a telly on this side. Which is your fault, Gunter. You see that? That's a telly. And as you can see, these are the same. So this is the one we're going to build. There's my finger, there. That one. So basically I caved and I'm gonna build the telemaster. Yeah, I love it. It's um, it's not as ugly as the Telecaster. <laughs> Sorry, Gunther, but I really think they're ugly. I mean, I, I don't like the aesthetics on it. Can I move this way? I don't like them. Um, they have their uses, but I don't like them. So I'm hoping that I get the same use out of this one. But it looks better. No one saw that. Um, but yeah, then I did something else. Um, thin eyes. <laughs> um, I did some research. And I found something else, something really interesting. I found this. I can hear you saying, well, that's the same body, Dirk. No, it's not. The other one's this much longer. It's this much longer over here. 
And this one's a bit wider than the other one. This is the original 50s blueprint that was made. So it's an exact copy of that blueprint. And as you can see, the pick guard is rounded. Not with the strange hook in it like the other one. No, I'm not going to pick that back up. But it's got this strange hook in there. And same on that side. So this is the original 50s one. So this is the one I'm going to use. It's a bit smaller, a bit shorter. It's more like the size of a Telecaster. And it's a bit more rounded on the, on the bottom. And I really like this. It's just it's the perfect balance between the Jaguar and the uh, and the Telecaster. So yeah, I think we have a winner. Let me see if we can get the exposure back. Can I just ramp up the exposure to get the same level of? without the low light compensation. Whoa. How's that? Still on minus four. I don't know. Let's compensate it. I don't know. I don't care. Let, let it do. Yep. You like that? Well, I'm, I'm glad you do, Gunther, because um, all this time, uh actually i was thinking about your remark that it's um it, it's I'm, I'm not sharing well not completely sharing the idea that is that is the all father of all uh electric guitars because at the same time there were more electric guitars uh being invented um way before that even um but i do think that it's a significant model severely outdated and ugly but it's a significant model <laughs> Gunther's going I'll kill him I'll kill him <laughs> but, but uh um but I do think the the telemaster um which apparently was a thing in the 50s even that they were thinking about a successor for the tele telecaster um I think that's really cool and uh, I think yeah like I said I think that this is the way to go I think this is the guitar to make um <laughs> it's the father of mass produced electric guitars that have no place demanding the prices they currently do um yeah well here's the funny thing um I don't know uh, if you did I don't know what's going on with my mic today. I've got I've got mic issues today. Um, <laughs> mic, get out, get away from my desk. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you noticed, but um, in the past, uh, most Telecasters were cheaper than Strats, and that shifted uh, well about I don't know fifteen years ago, and the prices were almost the same. Right now, they're more expensive than the Stratocasters. Why? I don't get it. There, there's, no, there's no bevels. They're just... It's a chunk of wood with pickups in it. You can route it from the top. So, you, I mean... Why are they getting more expensive? What's going on there? That they... I don't know. Oh, now I get the red and blue. That one's still blue. Why is that one still blue? Weird. Um, but yeah. Well, um, uh, you all know that I'm going to use Brent's uh, burnt neck on this one. Um, not sure, though, because I came back with a completely different kind of wood uh, than I... Uh, envisioned because I was going for some um, ebony wenge styled wood um, but I couldn't find any that was nice enough I looked for some uh, burly walnut and I really liked the piece and then when um, 
uh, then when I went to the uh, the office there, I said, well, what you want for the piece of the walnut? Uh, he said, well, <laughs> I want 500 euros for that. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> so uh, what I did is I, uh, I just went back and I just looked around, um, went there with a friend. Uh, uh, she found a piece of wood that I actually liked. And it's right here. I'm, I'm going to go get it. But if you hear something fall, I might be dead because it's really fucking heavy. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. How about this? And it's already a very nice piece of wood. You do know I like a nice piece of wood. But I think, I'm not really sure of it because I haven't measured it out yet. But I think that it's going to be partially in the sapwood. Which is going to be really cool. So I'm not sure, maybe I should put the horn back in there for a bit in this side. Does it go still a bit? I could keep it all the way in. <laughs> it might be enough though because it's it's really heavy because it's really thick. It's like how I like it's it's like how I like my women. A bit thick because they got curves, baby. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but check this out because this is cool. You know, I like shiny woods, right? Well, let me see if I can do this. Is that possible? Can we do that? No, of course not, because the stupid cameras don't do what you want them to do. Can I turn on the other one again? The second camera. Because if you look at it closely, you can already see that it's really shiny. You can really look into the grain. Um, so you can tell that if I um, apply some lacquer or some oil, you can look really deep into it. Thick for the win. <laughs> Actually... On this side, the dark wood's actually darker. Right, let me check if I can get the camera working on the uh, on the phone. Because the phone camera is actually better for that kind of work. Yeah, it is going to look amazing, isn't it? When I saw it, I just um, I don't know. I just knew. Well, I I need this. I really need this. Can we see it now? Yeah, there we go. Mm, yeah, look at that green. This is just, it's going to look so awesome. Damn, that camera's slow. Why is it so slow? And why is it dying? <laughs> Yay, I've got another piece of equipment that's failing, failing, like failing bad. <laughs> oh, I need some, I need better equipment. I need a better computer, that's for sure. Well, this side is wider. I'm gonna put the just a smidge, just tiny bit, and that's gonna. Yeah, it's just this piece that's gonna be 
lighter or if we turn it around which I think looks better because oh just because I don't know why it's gonna come to here it's gonna be close though but I kind of like it when this piece will be white so it looks worn in you know oh let me take care of the uh, extra camera thingy like this piece would be white like it it's been used a lot that would be cool and i think i'm going to use the bottom piece for this one because it's got all this uh dark figuring down here so that's got to be this guitar or at least the the ass of that guitar so yeah this is going to be the ultimate guitar build off guitar. Um, this present with a few problems. It's fairly hard because these markings here and these are because the planing table they uh, ran it through. I had some trouble planing this because it's too rough, it's too hard. Um, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do that to get it to the right thickness. That's one. I might even have to take it to a mill to get it uh, thinned down. It's not gonna need a lot though. Probably uh, half a centimeter, probably. Um, yeah, it's it's gonna give me some challenges. I was thinking doing the guitar on here like this. Doing the pick guard out of leather, like dark leather, maybe dark uh, brown leather or maybe black leather pick guard. Um, I'm actually thinking about um, um, sinking it down into the body so it's flush with the body um, and getting some. I don't know, maybe some aluminium or something underneath it, so then I can um, uh, uh, um, I don't know, uh, screw the pickups on there. <laughs> it's been a long day, um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking about something like that. It's gonna have that neck. Where did I put the neck? Did I take it downstairs? I really need to clean my shit up now. <laughs> There's been too much going on. actually brought me a neck but it's the wrong one <laughs> um but yeah so that that's what we're going to do and um i was thinking about the leather thing and i'm, I'm actually quite into it i think i can do something cool with it so i was planning on showing something on the uh, traveling guitar I decided not to because I'm an asshole <laughs> uh, no I um, I, uh, I made some cuts I um, um, made an inlay from Wenge uh, it looks really cool uh, but I have to sand it down to get it flush and it's going to take me about two days to sand it probably um why sand it because i um i can't use my planer on it uh for the same reason that's what's happening to the babinga bazinga the, i'm just gonna call it bazinga wood <laughs> um uh, because basically it just catches onto the fibers and then it just rips it off and um it's hot here
Because I, I did something. But I'm not sure if I can show it on here. If we want to keep some things a secret from the hatch. Should I show it? Yeah, Wenger is, is um, it's beautiful wood, uh, but it's got really long, brittle fibers, and it's um, it's basically tough wood. It's hard wood, just like me, mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, should I show what I uh, did to the headstock? I'm not. I I didn't do it yet. I just made a sketch on it. Should I? Should I not? Um, you don't have to finish it. It it because it's that brittle and dry. It does um take in a lot of moisture really easy. Uh, and they will see it in the end. And what? Oh, in the end. Okay, it's with an E. <laughs> um, yeah, because, well, most people who are in here right now are in the um, special Discord. There's no people. Um, like me, with brain injuries. Like, oh, I've got... Um. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should I make a picture of it and send it on the Discord, or do I need to show it on here? The drink of today. I thought it looked good with the mic. Okay, then I'll keep the headstock. Uh, a secret for now. I'll um, I'll show it to Gunther because he has to do the engraving on it. <laughs> Jin head. <laughs> well, to be honest, I never drank gin. Um. The first time I drank gin is maybe a year ago. Someone introduced me to gin. I was like, hmm, meh. But like this, it's really good. Yeah, well, I was going to do a bit of a rant on the Fender guitars. But I'm not sure if my computer can keep up with this. Let me see if it works. Because that side's working surprisingly fast now. Is it just dead slow when I just type in? Or... Hmm. That's not bad. Oh, I'm getting a lot of delay now on the video. Maybe I should have left it at 720 and just because I think I'm running now in 1080. Yeah, it's running dead slow, so I can't open it something new. So we're not going to try that. I still don't get how that works because I used to have it running well, not blazingly fast, but it was fast. I could, uh, I had uh, four cameras going at one point, without any delay. It was quick. It was it worked normally, and now I've got one camera running, and the computer's just almost overheating. It sounds like it's about to explode. <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't get it. What happens if I do this? It does absolutely nothing. 
Oh, now I'm red. Absolutely nothing. So weird. <laughs> you still don't know what you're going to do with that. Just nothing. Um, cause, um, when I did the, uh, because at first I was going to chop the top off and just, then just replace the top with something completely different. Um, but there was a problem with that is that, uh, I was going to do that with the, um, uh, ebony or the wenge or something like that, which I, that's the wood I was looking for. I was going to do it with the burly walnut, but it was too expensive. So that's why I went for the inlay. So I bought just a short piece of ebony and I'm laying that into the body. Um, I've got some ideas and I've got a bit of a style. Yeah, I know, but it's, um, it's a sort of style I'm putting into it. And I was wondering, maybe we could make it, um, uh, pull it together like a theme, you know, because, um, uh, I am going to do a modification, uh, somewhere else, which I'm currently keeping a secret. Um, uh, I'm going to change the top half. Like I, I showed you guys in the discord. Um, and I'm going to do something weird somewhere else um but it's all themed together so what i'm doing is all coming close to each other and you can see that it's been done at the same time on the same place and i was wondering maybe we could do something with the rest as well like maybe we could make the uh, electrical pickup thing resemble something that um feels like the same time period and the same classiness. I don't know. Any more gin? I do have to say, I, li I like teasing Emmy with her English. Um, <laughs> with her English, but um, she's actually the one who found the uh, Bazinga wood. <laughs> so without her, there wouldn't be uh, uh, ultimate guitar build off. Thank you, Emmy. <laughs> um, you know, I watched. Did you watch the rest of the video? Um, the Yandertons video where they played the, the Fender and the Telecaster because I'm, I'm still in rant mode so I can't help myself um, but they they looked it over and they said well they had the um... <laughs> hmm did she <laughs> um, but uh, even uh the the captain lee and um and uh pete were sitting there and they were looking at the burly maple and it looked awesome and well they the first thing they said about the the ebony is well i like it but they uh, well they just went on about how unique it was and that was basically it so, um, if you want to buy a guitar that no one else has, well, that's the the place to go. Uh, but basically, it's it's useless because it's ugly. Um, but then uh, I noticed something really funny. <laughs> um, the only thing they said uh, farther on the guitar was they played it, and they said, "Well, it sounds like a strap." That was basically all they said about it. So it feels nice, like a strat. It plays like a strat. It sounds like a strat. And the same thing they said about the telly. Sounds like every telly. Then they even turned down the um, uh, the tone knob all the way back and they said, well, 
This it sounds like a telly with the tone knob uh, turned all the way back, and I was like, well, then what's the reason for buying this guitar other than the fact that well, it is unique. You have to, yeah, it is unique. But why, in God's name, would I buy that thing? It's just fucking horrible. So I don't get why. Um, why would you promote a guitar like that? Yeah, I know why they promote a guitar like that because they have to get it out of their inventory. It's one of those guitars that'll stay in their inventory for about fifty years. Um, so I guess that's the main reason to um, uh, pull some focus on it into the video. It's an FSR. Yeah, they're machine made. That's the thing. It's not a master build. Um, it is. Um, uh, they do carry the. Uh, I saw that they do carry the the custom shop logo. Um, but on the card it says um, factory made. What the fuck is that about? I don't know. But that's um. That's an eBay picture I found, so I'm not sure. Again, I'm not not really into that. And I'm not such a big Fender guy. Yeah, the custom shop design, that's it, yeah. So someone at the custom shop thought, well, we've got some really ugly wood um, <laughs> in back storage. We need to get rid of that stuff because it's, oh my God, it's ugly. So what if we design a guitar with it, which is basically like any guitar. You take a pearly maple top, you get your neck, and you just make it out of one piece because if we're going to do uh, a fret fretboard out of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well... Uh, if we just do a fretboard, it's going to take us way too long to get rid of all that wood. So let's just make the entire neck out of that wood. And say that it's a specially designed custom model. And then we'll let the boys at the factory make it. Because we, we can't be bothered to work with such ugly wood. <laughs> I mean, isn't that, that's just the biggest joke there is, isn't it? <laughs> I bet the guys at the factory line were like, what the hell is this? I have to build a guitar out of this? And they went to the supervisor and said, well, uh, this is faulty. Can I throw this away? Because I know it's expensive. It says so on the on the tag, but can I throw this away? And he's like, no, no, no. It's the custom shop design. It's a special design. Were they doing gin? <laughs> and the guys from the costume shop were like good luck with that boys <laughs> far better than the American standard yeah well that's something um, I'm still not sold on because there's a lot of people saying, well, you have to buy the 60s Strat and you have to buy the reissue of that. And they're breathing in too much high glue. <laughs> you know that the thing is about high glue that there's nothing in there. I mean, there's no solvents or anything. It's just high glue. <laughs> Unless it's partly syn synthetic. Um, because I've used fish glue and it just smells really funny, but you won't get uh, 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 weird in your head from it. Well, not more as a, as it's now. Um, yeah, but, uh, the, what was I saying? I don't know. I'm still ranting. Oh yeah, I'm not sold on that because my squire. Uh, that what? there. That squire. Um. I uh, went uh, about it with um, uh, measuring the neck and stuff and it's exactly the same as the 74 reissue from Fender 
um, the fretwork and the rolled edges are exactly the same. And the smoke and tight bond. <laughs> I don't even know. I think you can eat tight bond if you wanted to. I don't think there's anything weird in tight bond. No, it's not the Edge guitar. Damn it. Stupid Edge. One of the... I, I don't know. A lot of people think that he's a great guitarist, but... I, um, oh, it's just... Oh my God, he's such a... I don't know. Are there huge U2 fans here? Because I think that guy is such a loser. And you've got Bono. Then you've got the dude that no one knows on bass. The other dude that no one even can see on drums. And then you've got the guitar player who thought, well, everyone's going to be looking at Bono with his stupid glasses on, uh, hogging all the attention. I'm going to call myself The Edge. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, I think it's silly. It's just so silly. I mean, have you seen the guy? He's too old to be calling himself The Edge. It's the same with Slash. I mean, it is Slash, I know, and uh, everyone knows him as Slash. I don't even know what's the first name of Slash anyway. But they're too old for that shit. Uh, but anyway, I was talking about that guitar. Uh, that one. And basically all the talent in the band. <laughs> yeah, but he never gets a shot because Bono is hogging all the attention. <laughs> um, but yeah, that guitar is... is um, I've had people playing that guitar uh, who are far better guitar players than I am. Uh, and who have uh, had a lot more experience, have played a lot more expensive guitars. And every every time I hand off that guitar, people say like, wow, what's, what's this? What did you do to it? And I was like, that's the only guitar I haven't done anything about. I mean, this is just my guitar. I just bought it that like that when I was, I don't know, 13, 14, something. Um and that's it. And it, it 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 sounds good. It sounds a bit fresh now because I've got the uh, the other pickups in there. Uh, but it feels old. It feels good. It's got the 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 uh, the round shaped neck, the 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 pointy C neck. Um, like the David Gilmore edition, which is um, what was it, twenty six hundred or twenty nine hundred? I'm not sure. Almost three thousand, I think. Yeah, well, just just call him um, uh, David in a hat, you know, like <laughs> instead of Slash. He doesn't carry a knife around. He, he, why is he called Slash anyway? Yeah, I love rant. Um, but everyone's happy about that guitar. Uh, I've I've been asked by a few people, oh, would would you sell me that guitar? I'm like, no, it it's my first guitar. I bought that, worked through an entire vacation, um, um, and uh, spent almost a year, uh, selling uh, well, bringing around the newspapers in the morning, because uh, he pays a This is why I love doing the live streams. <laughs> Just, oh my god. Um, but yeah, so what makes it that that guitar um, plays great, feels great, and uh, people who own guitars that are worth uh, 3,500 to 4,000 euros still want that guitar. I mean, they offered me two, no, I think, yeah, 2,000 uh, euros for that guitar. Um, years back, like years back, when I was still living in the, uh, uh, on the other side of town. So why would they want to buy that guitar? Because this was a Squire. It was, uh, I don't know, 300, 
four no nah, three hundred euros I think or four hundred euros. Why didn't they call him Zippy? Like hey Zippy, play something on guitar. I like that. <laughs> But yeah, that, that's the thing with, if it feels good, um, you can charge a lot of money for it. But in this day and age, right now, you can just put it into a mill and um, it'll just crank out in a, or a CNC or whatever. You just It cranks out the same body over and over again. There's no craftsmanship needed because it's exactly the same as the model you scanned. So what if I take that guitar uh, there and scan it, scan the neck, throw it into a CNC machine, have it carved out exactly like that one, put it together and slap Fender on it. Um, would I be able to sell it like a custom shop? I mean, I could assemble it. I mean, I could have one of the master builders put in the screws for the neck. So there's an actual master builder that put it all together. But they usually start with a, a, a CNC body. So I don't really get the fine. I mean, you know what I would really find cool? If there were master builders that went outside with an axe walked up to a tree, cut it down, um, let the wood sit for five years, because if you order a custom guitar, you're gonna have to wait five years because the wood has to be properly dried. Um, go to the sawmill, have one of them uh, old fashioned saws that you have to operate with two people. Just make a board down of it, cut it in, uh, uh, down to size, take it inside, get a chisel, and uh, and a shave, and then just start hammering away on it. Um, that would be a master builder, in my opinion. That would be someone who knows the trade and uh, who built that guitar actually from scratch. Because that's the thing. Basically, they're just getting a kit from the factory. Because they, they'll say, well, I want a D-shaped neck. Uh, I want that body, I want it 50s style with that pickup, uh, well, with that um, pick guard on it, and I'm gonna wind the. Uh, I want some 50s wound pickups on it uh, according to these specs. Then the people just bring it to them, like, here you go. I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna do some chiseling on it and some figuring in the wood, and uh, I don't know cut the headstock in a weird shape and then just sent it off. It's master built. Ta -da! I mean, and, and don't get me wrong. Those people's got, these people got loads and loads of skills. I mean, I'm not just, I'm not sure that they're using it in the right way. Um, it's also with, um, uh, uh, if, if you're a master builder and you're doing a relic job, um, um, why is it such a skill um, to make it look old when um, Fender's got loads and loads of guitars from that era that are faulty um, like the uh, I read that this afternoon because you saw the, the little clip I made with the firebirds being ran over at the Gibson factory. And um it, it, they um they had this uh a little rant on their own um because apparently at the uh, Fender factory there are a lot of faulty guitars um that are actually still in storage but they're not destroying it take some old parts of those uh, or fix those and you've got a true vintage guitar you don't even have to have to really relic them you've got a vintage uh, guitar 
Um, it's old, it's new old stock. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to see why they don't do stuff like that. Why would you uh, relic pickups? Uh, I mean, you, well, you know what I did to the pickups that I put in the travel caster. Uh, those were in the amplifier for almost uh, a year. Yeah, well, they lost money on the lot, but what I don't get is if they um, if they lost money on that lot, um, why did you destroy the bodies, the necks, um, the pickups, the wiring, the knobs, the switches? Why would you destroy that? Just use them. And I see what you did. You just ran away from my rant to get some spray on your uh, base. This is not, that's not important now. You're watching the stream. You're watching my rant, Lamb. You, you can't just walk away to do some spraying on your base. You're not Davey504. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that guitar should have never have existed. I agree. Um, the cost was astronomical because of the Bluetooth stuff, but uh, basically the cavities inside were slightly bigger. They were this big, uh, this much bigger than normal. Take the stupid blue Bluetooth stuff out. Cram some normal electronics in there. Ta-da! But they just destroyed a perfectly good body. Okay, well, the pickup cavities are different, and then, uh, and the electronic cavities are different. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, my computer's running really slow, so I just got the message that you did the last code. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, get someone to dismantle those things. The necks on those things were perfect. I mean, I, I don't know because. The, um, a few of those things survived and uh, apparently the necks on those are exactly the same as the ones that are on the what is it the i think the 72 les paul reissue or the 1969 reissue those are the exact same necks apparently so just i don't know chisel those necks out and just <laughs> what the fuck i mean it's just they just destroyed all this stuff that's just a waste of money and especially if they lost that much, just put one guy on it from the factory and just take out all the electronics, take out all the knobs, all the pickups, um, just in the, the copper. I mean, just take out the copper from the windings, at least get some of your earnings back. I mean, that's what the one guy, you could pay probably pay him um, for the money that you get for the for the coils uh tuning pegs uh nuts <laughs> tail pieces <laughs> what the fuck they just destroyed the lot they just destroyed it because it shouldn't existed and they got busted for it because someone filmed it that's basically what happened if 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 so if that guy didn't film it, I think he got sacked. By the way, for filming that, uh, but if he would he wouldn't have filmed it, no one uh, would have found that out, and no one would have made a fuss about it. Um, but it's such a waste. Um, so I don't get why they did that. But apparently, there's uh, well, like I said, there's a lot of guitars uh, in storage at Fender that are close to 20 years old. Uh, some are even close to 30 years old, I think. So why didn't why don't they use those for rally jobs, for vintage uh, stuff? I mean, uh, what's going to be wrong with that? They, they, they crammed out the... Um, uh, they routed out the wrong pickup cavities? Or they made a... It's, it's underneath a, a scratch plate, for God's sake. No one's going to notice. 
just route it out in a square and say that because it's a custom job. Yeah, well, the, there you go, the Corvus, that was a... That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> you can rant on that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and what about the um uh the robot tuners because I, my neighbor's got a les paul studio no i think a les paul pro with uh, or a studio i'm not sure but with um uh, the robot tuners and if you're in a silent room you're just doing it by yourself you just play that sounds weird. Uh, but you're playing by yourself and you're just doing some practicing. It works great. <laughs> yeah, well, I like the Corvus. I mean, it, it, it looked nice. It wasn't that weird. I mean, it, it was a bit weird to see, but it was a, a nice guitar. From the ones that I do, uh, what I did saw online is that they sounded pretty nice. I mean, they, they would have been a really, <laughs> um, uh, I think it would, would have been a guitar that could have pulled people from, people from Fender to Gibson uh, in the same way that the Silver Sky is doing that for PRS. Because let's face it, PRS is a shameless copy. The only thing that did change is the neck. Because the body shape is mostly the same except for the carve. I mean it looks pointier. If if you're uh if you're farther uh, farther away. Um so if, if if you look at it from twenty centimeters distance, uh, like my mic now, it's gonna look uh completely different. Uh, but when you walk away like two meters, it's going to look exactly like a strat. You can only tell by the headstock that it's not. Um, I've played one like last year somewhere. Um, not a really good comparison because I was still struggling with my um, my fingers and stuff. But it's not. It's not like the Holy Grail or something. I don't know. And people just t uh, treat it now like it's uh, it's like an, a holy instrument. I know, but I like the Corvus. I mean, I, I don't know if people know uh, what we're talking about. Um, but the Corvus. Let me. I'm. I'm. I'm just gonna fix this in a different way. See, everyone left me. You see, Gunther left me too. <laughs> uh, let me see. Corvus, and it was by Gibson. There we go, Corvus by Gibson. I mean, everybody knows this, right? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's a bit off. Ah, uh, that's my horn. Yeah, basically, it's that guitar. That's the Corvus. And I know it, it's weird. It looks weird. But um, uh, when you hear it, it sounds pretty good. It's it's actually pretty nice. Um, but the fun fun part is about the Corvus, even though it looks like you can open a can with it. <laughs> it looks like a fucking bottle opener. <laughs> um, but um, I kind of like it. It's it's quirky. It's weird, and. Uh, yeah, they were well made, and um, the thing is about this, and, and um, I do believe there were some boltones, but most of them were uh, glue in necks. At that point, um, even the Fender Custom Shop wasn't doing glue in necks. So, like I said, if they were would have um, put some more effort into the design of it. Um, so instead of scrapping the entire line, just put some effort into uh, changing the design a little bit um, and make it appealing to Fender uh, users and sell it like that because PRS did it and they're making a fortune out of it. 
because the um, the Silver Sky is one of their best selling models right now, which I find uh, surprising because everyone who I knew uh, that owned a PRS before that was like, well, it's a PRS and it's nothing like any other guitar brand and that's what makes them special. And now that same guy has bought a Silver Sky. And I told him, well, it looks like a Strat. And he says, well, it's nothing like a Strat. And then we compared it to uh, that one. And they actually sound quite similar. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, um, I think that the, especially the big companies should think more about what's going on and, and what the people want. Um, like what I said last time about the the quality control at Gibson, that the um, that they said, well, let's turn the lights on on the in the um, <laughs> in in the room where they do the quality control. <laughs> yeah, it's nothing like a Strat. No, it's it 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 just it, it's it's the same uh, at about ninety five percent. But that that extra five percent, it, it's nothing like the strap. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. yeah. What I do like though is that uh, Gunther bought the Viper uh, the other. Uh, what was it like two weeks ago? Right now, and as you know, I'm I'm an SG fan. I'm I'm a, I'm a big SG guy. I love SGs. I love the way they look. I do like Vipers. Ooh. Uh, I do like Vipers. I mean, I, I like the way they they look and they. Um, I really have issues with this microphone today. Uh, I, I do like the way they look and they feel, but they're nothing like uh, an SG. They don't feel like an SG. They don't sound like an SG. It's a different guitar uh, altogether. It, they might look similar, uh, but they're not the same. Um, but the Silver Sky, if you uh, lay it over a Stratocaster, I mean, it's almost the same. Just like the, the Viper is to the SG, even though it's more offset. Um, but the sound that it produces is a 50 Strat. Or no, I think it's a 60 Strat. Uh, with the low output wound pickups on it. And... Um, Paul Reed Smith had this in a video and he said, well, it's a very special wound, wind that I'm not going to disclose because it's it's very special. And uh, there was this other channel who did a review on um, a 65 Strat and a Silver Sky and it sounded exactly the same. So they took it apart and they even um, took apart the windings uh, of the pickups and Apparently they're, they're wound exactly the same way <laughs> and they actually had to take down the video. I can't remember what YouTube channel. I'll, I'll look into that. It's fun to put in the Discord. <laughs> but they actually got uh, a subpoena uh, that said, well, you can't uh, put that video up because, uh, because of copyright claims, blah, 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 stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I don't know. Just say that you've improved on the Stratocaster, um, but it's yeah, you took the design and and went forward on it. I mean, there's no shame in that. Uh, I mean, what you did is good. People want to buy it. It's a good guitar. It sounds good. It it looks good. <laughs> the pickup corks. It's an animal wire wrapped around the new. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the funny thing is, is that um, uh, I know someone who winds pickups and rewinds them. And uh, he, he takes apart old ones. Ooh. Excuse me. He takes uh, apart the old ones. And uh, he takes the magnets out, uh, cleans them up, and then uh, rewires them. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is not pissed but it's drunk like okay I'm gonna 
I'm going to wire this so the wire's going that way and the, the pickup's spinning here. And you just normally you just uh, put it on there so that they go on like this, like you're winding it. And if the scatter wound is like, uh, and oh yeah, yeah, oh, it's scatter wound. Yeah, it's a special pickup. It's scatter wound. <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah. And the thing is, is that uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of sound from the guitar comes from the pickup, let's be honest. I mean, it's like 80% of it is the pickups and the way that um, they're mounted to the strings. Um, because you can hear the difference in my uh, Ibanez, because the back humbucker is really close to the uh, strings. And it almost sounds like a metal guitar, even though it's a hollow body. But the front ones, uh, I've got them uh, all the way down into the um, into the pickup ring, and they sound really sweet and uh, and clear, and uh, and like sugary. Uh, I don't know, like like buttery, and. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you want a special price? Ah, these are expensive. <laughs> um, but yeah, that makes a lot of difference. So even though they're the same pickups and they're uh, wound the same, um, uh, just mounted on a different spot in the guitar and then just uh, move them up or down, that makes a lot of difference. Um, the... Uh, clean plywood here. Uh, can I? Yeah, that 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 pickup is seven. Uh, it's fourteen k. That one is seventeen k. So that's that's a that, uh, that that is a really high output pickup. But what I did is I um I actually raised the neck a bit uh, because I had to make it a. Um, because I ordered the strat neck, I had to raise it a bit to get it all straightened out. Uh, but what I did is I, I lowered the um, uh, the pickup, and it still sounds really clear. Uh, it it doesn't sound like it's an uh, overly hot pickup, whereas the one in the bridge screams like a, like like it's I don't know what screams really loud. Like your mother-in-law getting run over by a tractor. <laughs> yeah, she didn't wind them. They're like, okay, well, Ibarra, I, 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 Abigail, Abigail, I, I finished my pickup. You have to sign off on it, and she just goes. Oh, looks good. And then she just writes them off, and I, okay. Alan <laughs> Carvin the roll. Yeah, but that's the way it's that that guitar. Wrong hand. That one. That guitar screams when I put it on the back pickup. I still have to do the wiring though. I was actually really hopeful and waiting in the weekend for someone to send me a diagram of a pickup or a. Yeah, Kookaboo can scream too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, someone wanted to send me a diagram, but such a shame that they didn't. I was so disappointed. I was crying this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have the time anyway to... to uh, and do the wiring on that. I'm, I'm going to do that somewhere in this week, I hope. But I have to start with the filming on the on the colors of the wire. <laughs> okay, who, who was that? Well, that someone should have should be slapped because it's a it's an absolute disgrace that they didn't tell you the colors of the wires but I do believe that you received some pictures of it <laughs> well uh, I'll, I'll make a picture uh, I'll take a picture of them tomorrow um, if, if someone can help me remember that because I've got the brain of a monkey with a peanut right now slappers what <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, I found this soundboard. I um, 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 I forgot to in, uh, put it into OBS. I'm gonna put it in. Um, I found the soundboard with all the all the same sounds that Davey Five Hundred Four makes. So I was thinking about doing a satirical, um, uh, Davey Five Hundred Four video, but then push it to the extremes. It's, I, I've had this on my list for a while. I, I really want to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I don't know either. I, I, I've, I've, I'm going to have to take the pickup apart to, to do that. I don't know. I mean, the only thing that I did to pickups is take the old ones out, put the new ones in, and just put the same wires in the same place, and then it would be done. <laughs> it's got a green one, a red one, a white one, and a black one. Yeah, I'll test for it, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I can... Um, um, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll get my multimeter on it and have some fun with it. I'll take some pictures of the multimeter. How's that? <laughs> um, yeah, I still have to put a ground in that too. So I uh, still have to take the um, uh, or the bridge or the um, uh, tailpiece out and make a ground there because... I forgot. <laughs> uh, um, well, I found something really fun out, by the way. Um, you know, I've got the Genetics One uh, effects pedal uh, underneath my desk, like like down here. Um, and what I did is I uh, took the buzz and slammed it into the effects pedal and then put uh was it again uh octave on it and then slammed it down that is the most awesome sound i've ever heard i, I mean i'm gonna use that soon I, I need to figure out how to get it to uh um to not sounding off because the the, the noise is um uh, it's distorting the tuning for some reason but it is yeah it's really interesting it's like having um uh, a melodic bass on steroids i don't know it's it's uh, it's, it's so weird and uh, because everything goes down like an octave or maybe two octaves i'm not sure how far it goes down after i have to put my um on my uh Tune in next to it and see what happens. But it sounds so cool. It, uh, uh, it was actually by accident because I had it... Uh, first I had it on fifths. Uh, you know, like the the fifths with the late... And um, I, um, I actually pushed the wrong button with my foot. And it went <laughs> to the octave. And um, I had it uh, pushed completely down. And I don't know. It's it's something that I've never heard before. It was it was so weird, but it was cool. So yeah, I'll see if I can replicate that and make a video out of it. Maybe that's cool. Maybe we can just put do weird stuff to it. Yeah, you should try that. I could um. Uh, I've got the manual with it, so I can tell you what I, what the um, engine is based on. Uh, because I think it's uh, based on um, um, what's it called again from Marshall the nine hundred something something. I'm not good with numbers. Um, and I think it's got a tube screamer in there. Uh, it's got the octave from Edson Behringer octave 65, I think. Uh, I think it's, there's some delay and some flanger in there, but I don't know. 
I, I can just work that out. I can find that in the, in the manual. Because I never did anything to that program. I need more gin. It's one of those rant nights, isn't it? <laughs> Soon we're going to start a, um, uh, a network of YouTube channels uh, specially designed to rant on other channels. That would be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do wish I could um, run a YouTube video um, uh, through the display capture, a uh, little display capture in the screen and just show you guys stuff. But for some reason, uh, I can't get the speed out of it that I need. Um, it's not an internet problem. It's, it's, it's the... Um, uh, the built-in uh, internet in the laptop that can't go to greater speeds than this. So for some reason, I can't do all those things at once. And um, well, basically the motherboard and the and the chipset that just they're sweating their balls off because they can't keep up. Maybe if I put it back down to seven twenty. Uh, and, and lose all the uh, auto uh, stuff and uh, auto correction stuff and, see, and close all programs and, and maybe I could run run two or three the same thing uh, different things in the same window I'm not sure that would be cool though like it's um yeah, I just need a gaming PC or something like it's 720p. Wait, but it's... Uh, let me check. Um, Logitech properties. Hello, do some properties. It says 1920 by 1080 over here. That's what the, uh, the Logitech cam says. I could change it to 720. I just did. <laughs> Don't worry, Gunther. I mean, it's good. When I touch things, um, mostly they like being touched by me. Wait, um, that came out wrong. <laughs> Mostly, when I touch things, well, I can't even do the American accent like like Trump does. But it must be the greatest thing we've ever done, and it will be fine to touch it. <laughs> Stupid Trump! He's a fucking idiot. Oh my god, what an idiot! Did you did you see the rant on uh, what he did with the um, what was it again the um, the Chinese Minister of uh, Information or something that he um, uh, misspoke a few words in English and then this um, <laughs> this interview asked him like okay well uh, how's your Chinese and he says well I don't need to speak Chinese because uh, English is the language of the world and everyone needs to learn English. And I was like, yeah, well, it, it's, it's not the most spoken language in the world because there's a lot more Chinese people than there are Americans. <laughs> because that's the most spoken language in the world is Mandarin. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, What's this? Uh, what they call him? Ginger? <laughs> Something with 1938. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna get banned if I say it. <laughs> Does it get smoother now? Because I've, I've set it to 720.
I still feel, I still feel that there's a delay on it. Uh, oh, I don't know what I did now. Now everything's locked up. What's going on? Hiya! Have you seen this guy on the YouTube, the um, Uncle Roger? He's my f he's my new hero. Making dinner with Uncle Roger. <laughs> Alright guys, he's, he's complete nuts. But I like him. Okay, it says the base canvas is 1920 by 1080. And the output scale is 1280 by 720. Then what's the point of that? Why didn't... Oh. Oh, you should watch Uncle Roger. He's really funny. Does this uh, like uh, the the woman from uh, the BBC, uh, from BBC Food, Hersha, something something, and um, uh, he's just going on about, hiya, you wash rice with colander, hiya, you don't watch it, uh, you don't wash rice with colander, it's too wet, rice must not be wet. <laughs> He just gave me such a laugh. Yeah, it's, it's processing 1080p f for some reason. Uh, I'll try and fix that later on. This is weird. I don't know. It, it seems like that when I um, turn off OBS, it just forgets all its settings. And then when I get back in there, I have to redo all the settings. I mean, I don't know what's going on with that, if there's something wrong with it or so. Um, I heard more people ranting on that, especially for the webcam settings. That, that That's a problem with the, um, uh, with the settings, that uh, it doesn't remember the settings. And um, right now, I mean, I'm happy with the settings I've got. I mean, uh, it makes me look good. And uh, I've got the background uh, blurred a bit, so that the focus is on me. I like having the focus on me. Um, so that's good. And it remembers that. Um, no, it's not just the Logitech driver issue, because I had it with the uh, IV cam, and I had it with the Wi-Fi cam app that you had. It forgets all the settings every time. So it's it's an OBS thing. So something in OBS doesn't work right. Um, what I haven't tried though is the output scale, uh, changing the base canvas and the output scale. Maybe there's something there because they're um, offset or something that it's trying to get the best uh, of two worlds and trying to find a solution for the problems. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing. There's there's a lot going on. And like you saw last time, I mean, uh, when I have to go look up something in Windows, <laughs> I'm just completely lost in Windows. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I wish it was uh, Ubuntu or uh, or uh, Mint OS. You should look into that. That's something for you, Mint OS. Um, there's it even called a Peppermint. That's actually called Minty now. Um, uh, yeah, well, that's the thing. Somehow the Logitech stuff resets the drivers for the Logitech. Um, MintOS is really good. It's it's basically Ubuntu, but without the um, uh, the outer shell, uh, without the the fancy shell. Um, yeah, but the fun part is that um, every camera that's in OBS, if you restart OBS, uh, it just resets all the settings because it thinks it's good. Um, I don't know. I find Debian boring. What I really liked was uh, Manjaro OS. That was really cool. I liked the way that looked and, uh, and worked. I mean, it's good. And what I used to uh, 
uh, use a lot, especially on a, a portable stack as Kali. Kali Linux is the best. And you probably know what Kali is used for. More gin. More gin. There's marginally more gin in here. Yeah, great for diagnostic and pen testing. Um, and if used right, um, it's 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 um it's hacker galore. I mean, you can. Um, I had people with problems at work when I was still working in a, a retail store. Um, I had problems with the cash register that I wouldn't open and stuff like that. And uh, because they installed um, the new uh, <laughs> at that point, the new win what was it Windows ten or Windows eight? No, Windows eight. They ran a cash register on Windows eight. And um, uh, one day we had an update and they um, <laughs> it completely locked up and it locked us out and we couldn't change the password. The guy from uh, from IT, we called him and he said, well, hello, IT. I've reached out turning it off and on again. And he, he couldn't fix it. Uh, they came to the store. They couldn't fix it. And we were um, uh, losing half a day of sales just because of the problems with the computer. Um, and they said, well, we're going to go back to uh, HQ, get some new computers and getting it run. <laughs> and um... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not running Joomla, no. <laughs> I'm running WordPress. <laughs> well, actually, at the moment, I'm running nothing because, uh, well, it is WordPress. So it obviously got hacked. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, well, they went to the HQ and said, well, we're going to prep some new computers for you, some new cash registers, and we need to fax it. So actually, well, uh, okay, I'm going to get my portable stack, uh, jammed it in there, and I just formatted the entire computer um, uh, with the Kali and just, um, well, I didn't, I, I rewrote the entire startup partition and restarted it and then used Kali to uh, change the passwords on it uh, to uh, 1 through 9 <laughs> and then uh, the guys from IT got back and I was like oh guys sorry I'm, I'm logged in now there's no problem we've got it working again and and one of those guys and remember they they were IT people so they knew computers well so I thought and they said, well, how did you do that? And I said, well, I loaded Kali up. And he said, well, what's that? And so I said, well, it's like the same like Ubuntu, only um, for a different purpose, mostly. He said, well, what's Ubuntu? I was like, it's, it's Linux. I said, what's Linux? How do you use Linux? What do I do with it? <laughs> and I was like, okay, you work in IT? How is that even possible? You don't know what that is. I mean... That's just weird, isn't it? I don't get that. If you work in IT, you should know uh, at least some Linux, especially for servers. Most servers run on Linux because it's far more reliable. We used to um, run a uh, cast register on Unix. That was unstoppable. That was absolutely um, indestructible. That was the best system we've ever had. It was outdated, um, but it was fast. Uh, it was indestructible. Nginx, that's nice. I like that. Most people don't use that. So that's interesting. Why, why did you use that?
Yeah, that's why I like the Raspberry Pi. Oh, you have to pick your wife up from work. Oh, well, who's gonna miss her? <laughs> no, go, go, go get her, go get her. <laughs> yeah, true, it does, it does, it does wipe the floor with Apache. Now, what time is it anyway? Oh, it's almost 11. Oh, well, uh, 10 on your side of the pond. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call it the night too. It's time. I'm so tired. Um, I love ranting. I should do some more research on the guitars from Fender and just do a proper rant. Like uh, like a rant um, that's based on exact facts and we can just destroy them all just because of the fun of it. See you, Lammy. Um, yeah, on that note, I'm going to call it a night too. Uh, I've been streaming for, what does it say? Uh, I don't know. My computer just locked up again. I'm sorry, Gunther. I touched something. I'm sorry. <laughs> Funny, he, he's uh, the lamb sent me something that wasn't supposed to be on the screen here. Uh, but he said, "Nice to see that you didn't pussy out on the pour from the gin." <laughs> no, you need some proper gin, or else you won't taste it. One hundred and eleven minutes. Um, yeah, you're welcome. I love entertaining old men, especially when they're poor. No, I love having you guys. I mean, it's, it's just, um, um, it, it's just really nice to have you guys here and uh, letting me rant because um, I don't. Know, I, I I've said it before, but I, I want to say it again. Uh, um, I can't go anywhere by myself. I need Emmy or my wife or Renee to drive me somewhere. So. Um, it's just it's good to know that there are people interested in what you do and I, I know i know that i'm not the most interesting person on this world but it's good to know that there's people interested uh for 111 minutes so i mean um that's a lot of tenacity <laughs> yeah um let's call it in the night um well, I'll, uh, I'll see you inmates next time. Uh, this is the Dungeon Master. Uh, closing the door and walking away. <laughs> um, thanks, guys. See you later. Well, apparently I can't stop the stream because everything's locked up.